and Smith will go to work. The hallmark of his game, the work on and around the greens. Yeah. Certainly a pleasure to watch. Operating around the green, on the green. See how much of a one unit those hands are. I mean, they're pretty close together. Cam, now 28 years of age, born in Brisbane, makes his home in Jacksonville Beach, so maybe about 90 minutes south of here. Pretty comfortable week for all the guys that live in the area. The hat trick here at the second. I'm going out on a pretty solid branch. I'm thinking we're going to go three for three here. Pours it right in. Birdies for all three in the group. Now Cameron Smith for birdie. A really good look. And a really good putter for <laughs> this look right here. Now Cameron Smith, just inside three feet. doesn't miss too many from any distance, let alone that distance right there. That is uh, wasting daylight there. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to, it happens to the best players in the world. Absolutely. Yeah, statistics prove out that once you're 20 feet and outside, I mean, you're, you know, it's, it's more about three putt avoid. It's not running that putt four feet past and that's right. And actually making it, but well, you talk to Tiger Woods or Phil Mickelson, a three-putt avoidance is a important stat if you're going to win. Now, Smith, to get back to one under par. It's almost a surprise when he misses. <laughs> Cameron Smith, this for Bernie. Beautiful pace to that putt. That thing would have gone in at any point on that hole with that pace. That's what you see with the players who are the best putters. They have the best speed. It's all about you have to read putts for speed first, and then in a lot of ways, Teddy Scott's job might be a little more simple. Good look for Smith back at eight. Gets that one to drop to move to minus three. They're tied for 12, so that's a very good sign if you're not feeling good and you're still tied 12th so back at 10 there's another one finds the bottom for Cameron Smith four out of five moving he almost eight at four under I bet you he thinks they should shrink the hole too while they're at all these <laughs> changes right? right I mean it would only benefit him <laughs> Smith will have the first crack at it just inside 30 feet This is, this is his, he just loves getting that putter in his hands as quickly as he can. I mean, last season, he was first in putting average on the greens he hit in regulation. So whenever he hits a green, it almost doesn't matter where it is. And his putting speed is so good, too. See... The guys are making they're making some putts, but they've been fooled a couple of times, like Carney said. Smith's been rolling it beautifully today. Sixty-three feet of putts <clears throat> converted through eleven holes, and those five birdies on the scorecard. <clears throat> Time for twelfth right now, four under. Although there are players. That are tough to fool. And I don't care what set of greens Cameron Smith's on, he's more clever. Cameron Smith, but uh, he can push it to five right now. It's amazing when he stands over a putter. You just, you, you never get that thought in your mind that he may miss this right or left. 
fast and hard enough to make that? Well, uh, no flag stick for Cameron Smith, so we'll we'll hear this one hit the bottom of the hole shortly. It's a six under. Share of seventh place for par. Back at 16, just inside 10 feet, Cameron Smith. Yeah, that's a real soft bogey. We'll say with just a wedge in your hand, catching that ball completely heavy and failing to get up and down. That's a uh, tough day in the ball striking department for Oosthuizen today. Now, let's see if... Cameron Smith can bat, bounce back after that bogey on 16. Yeah, that was just a mystery. That grain and the slope just pulled it low, and speed was really good, but not for the line he joined. 75th. In the field, he lost uh, over two strokes on the greens to the field, so exactly right. Now Smith. A good look as well. It's got the speed. It's got the speed. Oh. Ends the day, six under par, 64.